Alright, here's another update on the 1911. And, uh, I went ahead and made the uh, extractor and the ejector. And I made a video on the extractor. It just needs to, uh, my brother just needs to process it. So, I don't know when he's gonna get that done. And, I've, uh, refined the barrel and the slide so that they work better in conjunction with the spring and all it doesn't get it used to just kind of get stuck and lock up like somewhere around here so i just had to uh polish up some of the part of the sides of the barrel make sure it wasn't touching the slide and add a little bit of material on the inside of the upper portion of the slide so that the, the barrel wouldn't uh, move up to a lock position which is what was causing it to uh, seize up and again it still needs a lot of work especially around the feed ramp and as far as all that goes and there's another fundamental problem with the paper slide is that uh, it doesn't have enough mass to strip the cartridge off of the magazine well, off of a factory magazine at least so in order to make it work I'll either have to go in and replace the spring or cut it short so it, to weaken the tension or uh, can't really see a good place but I guess like a drill a hole somewhere in this back portion of the slide and put like a a little block of lead in it to make it heavy. That's uh, what I did with the Dragon. I'll just do, put a block of lead in there to make the bolt heavy enough to be able to reciprocate and you know strip the cartridge off the magazine. And while I'm at it, I will show you the ejector. So there's a slide. The ejector I haven't even pinned it in place, so it's kind of fools around in there, but. Uh, what it is, it's just a strap of uh, sheet metal, same one I used for the sear spring, all that trigger spring, and uh, just cut it into the right dimension. Well, at least I tried to, kind of, kind of messed up, so it's a little bit slanted, but it don't matter. Um, so yeah, just get look at the diagram or the blueprint and cut out the shape using a Dremel or file, preferably a Dremel, and I just uh, added paper over it, and I did, if I can find a pencil or pen, uh, oh well, what I did is I actually drilled a hole in this uh, sheet metal, and then super glued it together, so that uh, the glue has more uh, surface area. I guess to uh, bind the paper to the sheet metal and not split. And uh, I've learned this from uh, many other guns, especially like the AK and the first 1911. For parts like this, uh, ejector, extractor, you have to make it out of metal. Otherwise, um, well, you're gonna be having a lot of trouble replacing these parts every now and then because uh, with the paper, it will eventually wear out or split and shred so like I did with the dragon out and this one I'm making it almost entirely out of metal at least the contact surface out of metal and I don't know it works perfectly fine so I'll go ahead and you know uh, just, I guess the real one would be pinned in place I suppose but uh, I guess I'll just glue it in place and just hope it doesn't fall off this shouldn't fall off as long as the slide is on there, so it's okay. And uh, oh, another thing I wanted to go over, like I said, with the the slide being too light, the same can be said for the hammer. As a prop gun, this is fine as is. This is nothing wrong with it. But to uh, ensure a proper detonation of the primer, you do need a he uh, heavy weight hammer. So. I might have to go and buy a real hammer, just a hammer, and uh, uh, if if I'm if I choose to fire this thing, I'll probably have to get a meta uh, metallic 
hammer and replace it with that. This font uh, works just fine as a prop, but uh, with the dragon of what I had, it was a uh, okay, and I had a, basically a cavity drilled out and put a block of lead, uh, just poured in some lead into it and covered it up. So the dragon of does have the dragon of hammer does have enough mass, but the, this one I really can't put any mass anywhere maybe here but I don't think that's going to be sufficient enough and at that point I think it's just easier to buy a real hammer and I think they're only like 30 bucks at most maybe so uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the 1911 I did work on a few things here and there uh, mostly metal detecting outside so and working but uh, just to let you guys know, I am working on it, so hopefully there's more to come.